afternoon everyone, I hope you're all doing really really well. Welcome back to a brand new video. Back to another vlog. It feels like it's been ages since I've done a vlog. To be honest, there's not that much for me to update you on, hence why I haven't picked the camera up for a couple of weeks. Obviously, the last two videos that I've done have been an updated house tour, but I did touch on this in my last vlog, which will be like a couple of videos back now. But because we're on the countdown to our wedding, which is literally in less than three months, I think, the house is just sort of like slowly moving down on our priority list we're not really planning on starting any major jobs in the house anytime soon or basically between like now and the wedding louis had started the hallway flooring which ended up going on for weeks and weeks and weeks like every job does so it is now finished he literally finished it like a couple of days ago so yeah i will show you how the hallway floor is looking everywhere needs a good clean i don't know whether it's just because this house is a lot bigger than our old house but i just feel like i need to clean it every single day the floor is an absolute mess i need to hoover everywhere i need to clean all of the floors the only other thing that we have left to do, which I have mentioned before, is the utility floor. So again, like we've got all of the flooring to do the utility. We just need to actually like do it ourselves. But obviously that's a room that it's just behind me here, but it's going to need fully emptying. So there's a fridge freezer in there, which isn't too bad. It's not the stuff that's in there isn't too bad to move. It's probably more the washing machine because obviously that'll have to be like disconnected and everything. That's very heavy. So we're going to have to move everything out. Touch wood. I think the flooring in the utility should be quite easy. It's literally just a rectangle room. There's no awkward bits. It should hopefully be quite straightforward. And I think this weekend coming, so it's currently Wednesday, I think. So this weekend coming and the weekend after, I think we're free. And then after that, we're just like busy every weekend. There's stuff going on. So I think I'll have to speak to Louis and see what he thinks. But I think we either need to decide whether we're just going to like get it done this weekend or next weekend and just power through or leave it. If we can get it done that would be ideal and then that's all of our flooring completely finished and we can just sort of like take that job off but yeah i think that's literally all that's been going on in the house i have started buying some bits for the wedding i've done my first like clothes order so i've technically got sort of like three separate hindus the first one is at the end of June and that is with work and then me and just a couple of the girls are going away, we're going to Benidorm for a few nights. We're calling that sort of like the pre-hen hen. So yeah, we're going to Benidorm for a few nights, that's at the beginning of July and then my sort of main hen do that everyone's coming on, family, friends, like Louis' family, everyone. That is sort of like mid-July, I think. So yeah, I've got a lot of shopping to do, lots of things to buy. So we're also going to Sweden in a few weeks' time to see Louis' sister. So I've bought a couple of bits for that just because I feel like I need just like general everyday wear for like spring, summer because I've literally got nothing. It's really, really bad. I need to have a big clear out and get rid of loads of my old clothes because I just don't wear any of it. But yeah, I've ordered some like white bikinis and like cover-ups and things for the Benidorm Hindu. So yeah, I'll show you all of that when that comes. I think what I might do is um, put in a little bit of a haul like a little bit later on in this video because I'm also going to show you my wedding shoes. But I think I'll wait until the parcel arrives with the clothes that I've ordered and then I'll just do a bit of a general sort of like... Hindu holiday wedding clothes haul. I've also had a delivery. I might as well show you these now because they're right here. But I've ordered some fake tans because this at the moment is 
One of the things that I am stressing about with the wedding, so I'm not planning on getting a spray tan. I've never had a spray tan. The thought of having a spray tan makes me die inside. I literally just, I've done my own fake tan for ever, literally for at least the past 10 years. And I always just use the St. Moritz tan. Obviously it's cheap, it's cheerful. I know exactly like how to apply it, what works for me. But for my wedding day, obviously I would love to be bronzed, like as dark as possible, because I do always go for the darkest fake tan. I'm very, very, very pale. So I do always like the sort of deepest tan that I can get. But I just feel like for my wedding day, I'd rather have a natural looking tan than obviously look back and think, oh my God, you were bright orange or... I just feel like the darker I go with the tan on the wedding day, the higher risk I am of like going patchy or like it transferring onto my dress or just anything like that. That's probably my biggest anxiety at the moment is um, my tan transferring onto my dress. I'm worried about like my underarms. I'm concerned that if it's really, really hot and I'm sweating like throughout the day on the morning, I feel like I'm gonna be naturally nervous and just a bit panicky anyway. And I'm really, really nervous that I'm gonna end up having like orange marks under my arms. So what I thought I would do was basically try a few different tans. Obviously it's my wedding day, so I was more than happy to like splash out. So I've got this St. Tropez one, which is the Self Tan Purity Bronzing Water Mousse. So obviously this is like a clear water and I think if I'm right, it obviously it doesn't really have a guide colour, it go, it's water, so like it just goes on like water and it is meant to be non-transferable. So if anybody has used this and can tell me whether that is a correct statement, please let me know because I'm praying that either this one or I got the Lux Body Serum. These, I think, are both meant to be non-transferable onto like clothes and bed sheets and things like that so I'm just gonna have to give them a try I'm gonna do a, a few test runs and apply it obviously like as if I would in the lead up to the wedding type thing I'm thinking of doing a layer of fake tan a couple of days before the wedding so we get married on a Saturday so I'm thinking of doing a layer of fake tan on like the Thursday night and then washing that off on the Friday and then doing a layer of like tinted moisturiser. Well, this is actually like a gradual tanner. I've used this Dove one before and I, this is really, really good. So I've got this in medium to dark. So that's sort of my plan to do like one layer of fake tan, wash it off, hopefully be left with a very like natural tan and then do a layer of this on the Friday and wash it off on the morning of the wedding on the Saturday. And I'm just, I'm just going to try that and see how that goes. Obviously, I'll try these, like, on separate occasions. I'm not going to use them together. Um, but, yeah, that's, like, one delivery that I've had this week. And something that I just want to... <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I'm stressing about all the, the little things now. And, I mean, I still don't know exactly what flowers I want. We still haven't got all of the RSVPs. We still haven't done the table plan. I haven't ordered name cards, favours. There's lots of things that, that we need to do, but I just feel like I'm stressing about, I don't know, like m my hair, my makeup, my fake tan. Oh yeah, there's just a lot to think about. So I'm glad that I've ordered them. I'm gonna try them. I've got sort of like fresh fake tan on at the moment. Um, so I'll scrub this off like as the week progresses and then I'll maybe try that at the weekend. So I'll keep you updated on my fake tan situation. But yeah, that was a nice big catch up. I'll show you how the flooring is looking in the hallway. I feel bad that I don't have any like big 
house updates but I hope you're all okay with hearing about the wedding. I have also actually ordered um, some like door thresholds. Very, very, very boring. I'm sure nobody cares about the door thresholds, but I will also show you them when they arrive because I went for like an antique brass and I'm hoping they're going to match the colour of like the light switches, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is how the finished hallway floor is looking just ignore the fact that you can see like mats all over it and stuff i think my job for tonight is going to be to hoover and like mop the floors because it's annoying me but yeah we're finally all finished all along here he managed to get it right underneath the stairs he's done a really good job there We've got shoes just everywhere because our shoe storage unit thing has been moved. That's in the living room. So I'll see if Louis has time to put that back there tonight. But yeah, this is how the flooring is looking. Finally all finished. It makes such a big difference in this hallway, like walking in onto flooring because we just had the floorboards before and it was just starting to get quite quite messy and dirty and just a bit annoying yeah this is looking really really good really happy with it so this is like one of the sections that i've bought the thresholds for and i've also ordered one for here in between like the sort of kitchen and our little living room so they should hopefully be here in the next couple of days and then obviously this is the utility in here so hopefully once we've laid the plywood and all of the underlay we're hoping that this will just flow right through but again we're just going to have to see when it actually comes to laying it we might have to buy another threshold to go in there but if we can get away with just having that one and the other one i'll be happy because ideally i didn't want any thresholds between like the rooms and different areas that was one of like my biggest things when we were doing the renovation and like buying the flooring that's partly why I, I went for exactly the same flooring throughout the entire house that was one thing I really really wanted to try and do but it just hasn't gone that way this flooring has been an absolute nightmare and if I've got any advice for anyone doing a renovation or planning on like laying any flooring yourselves just don't <laughs> just don't I would definitely I mean to be honest for us this flooring was an absolute bargain really for how much we got it was in the clearance sale i think it was 10 pound per square meter and um there's quite a big area downstairs i think it cost us about a thousand pound for the flooring and then we've obviously laid it all ourselves so really for like the space that we've done it hasn't cost us that much and we wouldn't have been able to afford to have gone for anything more expensive or probably to have got a professional to do it so for us even though it's been an absolute nightmare and i would definitely recommend saving up if you can and like investing in good flooring and getting it laid properly this for us was sort of like it was this or nothing we, we couldn't have splashed out on flour and we just didn't have the budget so we've sort of put this down now with the view that at some point in the future not anytime soon but maybe in like the distant distant future one day we will properly invest in the flooring and change all of it which is a shame because i would have liked to have known that we were putting it down now and that it was going to last us forever but this is just one of one of the things that like due to our budget really we just we couldn't do that but i love the look of the flooring it it's absolutely fine um i'm happy so yeah i'm just excited to get those um thresholds in because i just feel like they will finish the flooring off nicely and it'll finally finally start to look a little bit more done obviously apart from the fact that we've got no no architraves anywhere and we've got holes in every single wall but it's coming together
right, so this is your next next project, isn't it? Well, it was supposed to just be laying the floor, but... I'm attaching that back on. Uh -oh. What's your plan with this in here? So, because of that pipe there... Uh, yeah. I'm gonna... That's the gas pipe, I think, isn't it? Yeah. It, like, attaches to this. So, I don't really want to put the floor around it, so I'm just going to sort of, like, try and box this section off and sort of build some up so you can still get access to read the meter there mm -hmm. and there and yeah. you can still get to the board but then the floor can just be like laid around yeah. it because obviously it's all awkward around there yeah and then we'll potentially cut that pipe what's that one the old um like gas to the old boiler oh right okay obviously we've got a new one coming up here going all the way that was like the old one going the floor and then it went that way right don't we? <laughs> yeah, so this will just continue into there just so we've got flooring in this cupboard. And then... Utility? Yeah. Are you planning on doing it? Like, if you're, if you're going to do it, you need to... This is the boss speaking. You need to, like... We'll do it in, like, ideally a day or a weekend. Oh, well, yeah. Just yeah, but that's what I'm saying because obviously all of this is going to be emptied into potentially just into here, yeah. and I can't cope with it. Like, if we can just get it done by like Sunday, if you're going to do it this weekend, or if you can't do it all this weekend, wait until next weekend, but. Once well, this so, is done, so then that's all the floor. Laying the plywood, temporarily put like a little frame around there, like you said previously, because obviously that pipe, I'm not going to cut the floor around all that for downstairs cupboard. I think it'd look a lot better if we'd done some sort of like boxed it in and then you don't see all this. But as long as there's access to this, it'll do like a like a door or something to get them all like to get access to it if needed. And so you can see all the readings, but I think the best idea is to do that. Then you can lay the floor up to there, and then later on down the line I'll build some up. So obviously I've already built round, there's a big gas pipe going up there. And then our cables are also going in there, so I've boxed that in already. If I had a new, I'd have boxed it further out, but obviously you just go as you go. So... Just gonna that that's not screwed in or anything. Just holding it to lay the plywood and then let's start laying the floor and then see what closest length gets to that wood and then we'll cut it to to suit and then fix the wood down. But yeah. So got the plywood laid. Like I said I'm gonna lay the floor up to the wood before I fix the wood down. See where it lands. Obviously, as long as it's straight. But yeah, it's getting a bit dark, and I need a shower. I've got work tomorrow, so peace out. So our what are they called? Door. What's the word? <laughs> door separate thing. Thresholds. That's it. The door thresholds. These were delivered today. So they was just cutting this little bit of floor because it's just like a bit too close for the other bit but
think the camera went dead yesterday while Louis was doing this um, like door threshold thing. So he's done this one here, which we've currently got just like a heavy bag of cement or something to like stick it down. This one had like a self adhesive strip. So it's literally just like, it just sticks over. But the floor on like both sides, it's supposed to be completely level, which this should be because it's all level underneath. But there was a little bit of a difference. So we're not actually sure whether this is gonna stay stuck down, but we're just trying it out anyways. And then he's also done this one here this one was a bit of a different one so this doesn't have like a sticky bit on it it just like slots in between the floor so the other one wasn't the floor wasn't sort of straight enough to actually get this in so that's why we went for two two different ones but yeah that one i think we need to get some glue for that don't we and actually stick it down because it's not currently stuck it's just like wedged in between where the floor meets um but yeah i'm happy with them they look good we were saying as well because this floor isn't like perfectly straight so when you're looking down from the hallway the it was like it looked a little bit wonky but this has made it look a little bit better so it's just finished off nicely louis now doing the floor into here so he's put some wood down here just to like box all of this in so he can just lay the floor up to the wood instead of trying to like cut it all around the pipes and stuff but yeah that's what's going on today hopefully it won't take you too long to do this bit because it's just covered. That and then we'll end up putting the skirting board in there. If you skirt more than this, whatever. Okay, well, as long as the floor's done, that's all I'm bothered about. Yeah. This cupboard scares me. I always feel like it's full of spiders. No divide. I know. That's what we like to see. No divide. Hopefully, there won't be one there. No divide. <laughs> Last room to tackle. The wash is on for two hours. <laughs> well, yeah, but. No, yeah, 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 but. No, all I was going to say was realistically, by the time you've emptied all of this room, do you think you'd have time today to empty it, do the floor, oh, refill it? Because if you're busy tomorrow. Well, what I was going to do is not empty it straight away, I was just going to move the fridge there and sort start it. Right. And then... Because we're going to have to disconnect the washing machine, aren't we? Not if it can go over there and then move back. Right. Just because Ryan had to come and... He might he might have to do it. Because he had to connect it up for us. Because you tried to do it, didn't you? And it didn't work. <laughs> I think because we had the wrong... I think he didn't have the right piping. I'll be able to do that. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. He's tired. Yeah, I could, I suppose, <coughs> move the fridge. And they just start this little bit here, but it just means it with a blue wall under there. Mm. It's like... I mean, it would obviously be easier to fully empty it, and but I just think... I mean, I can turn the washing machine off because it's just, it's the dryer. And the, it's like Nelson's bed oh, things. And he's, you can't say that he's laid on a hard floor. 
He doesn't really like to lay out, he likes the hard floor. But I can hang them outside, it's quite a nice day. But obviously I just don't want you to empty this, not, like not get very far with the floor, and then spend all day tomorrow not here. Are you listening to me? Well that's why I think we don't empty it. Didn't well you, you've just contradicted yourself there because... Yeah it'd be easy <laughs> but I'm saying does it doesn't affect no one how much you get done and how much you don't get done. If I empty it now and I don't get it done, I have to refill it all back in. Whereas if I just move the fridge and I was going to move the, the washer, get to about where you done, move the fridge and the washer back, then fair do is like, take this out and finish the floor, but then the heavy stuff doesn't have to... Well, do that if you want. Might just do this little section here. I'm sick of the freezer door. Yeah. It like scratchy, you can see a little tiny bit on the underlay yeah. there. It like scratches on it every time you open the freezer. You have to like, so if you open the freezer like that, it scratches. So you have to like open the freezer like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I do it. <laughs> That's how you get Nelson's food out. That's how you get Nelson's food out. <laughs> Right, go on then. Chop, chop. Get to work. I'm going to move the fridge. Job number two of the day. Three. Well, yeah, job number three. Hopefully we should be able to not disconnect the washing machine and just move it. Like once this floor's laid, maybe he's move it onto that. Yeah. Is that the plan? Hopefully, yeah. Just so that this all doesn't need emptying, like, into this room. Yeah, I'm just going to concentrate on this bit here. Yeah. Just, I think it's just less than half. Yeah. Then try to fit once the flight floors up to there without mm -hmm. breaking the floor. Probably need your help or something Yeah. Else. Fully lift them up instead of yeah. grabbing them. Put them back where they were. Mm-hmm. Then move this out. And then do the other. Two thirds, third. Yep. Yeah. So hopefully we can get this to continue. Yeah, ideally. If we can not have a threshold there, it'd be good, but it just depends whether it's it's like completely level. <laughs> it's been the park today. He's been out with his friends, yeah. haven't you, Nelson? He's a popular guy. He's the most popular cockapoo on the block. Aren't you? With all your cockapoo friends. And cavapoo. And cavapoo. What did you call it? The poo, poo crew. The poo crew. <laughs> Please just ignore the big hole in the wall behind me. I'm sure you're all used to seeing holes in every single wall in this house. It's currently about 18 degrees outside and full sunshine. We've got the bifold doors open downstairs, which is lovely. I just wanted to show you some of the bits that I've been ordering. I said that I would show you what I got from Sheen when that arrived. That arrived a couple of days ago. To be honest, quite a lot of it I am planning on returning, but I'm going to show you all of the bits that I got anyway. I've also got a few bits from Primark and I think that's I think that's it i've got a lot of like random things and at the moment i feel like i'm just sort of like panic buying and panic ordering i need to get these bits sent back to sheen that i don't want because i need to order more basically and it's just like a cycle at the moment i'm trying to order things like chronologically so we're going to sweden in a couple of weeks that's well no actually we're at a wedding next weekend so i'll show you the dress that i've got for that actually I wasn't planning on showing you this, but I might as well while I'm doing a little haul. I've had this for quite a long time, like a good, I don't know, probably six weeks maybe, a couple of months. Um, I did originally order some dresses from ASOS and I absolutely loved all of them, but Louis told me that I was dressing like a nana. So I tried to like switch it up a little bit. So this is from Boohoo. I don't know how well... You can see it. I'll try and pop in um, an image from the actual like website of the model wearing it. I'm not going to try all of these bits 
on um but yeah i will put a little cutaway in here somewhere just so that you can like see it full length because i know it's probably not really the best me showing you like this but it's just sort of like a little strappy it is pretty much floor length on me which i did want for a wedding i like a nice long dress but then it's like figure hugging all the way down and then it sort of gets like ruffly at the end like this and then the back is i don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this either but the back is all sort of like like strappy i'm not doing this justice at all there you might be able to see that a little bit better obviously it's like all fitted to you but yeah that is my dress for our friend's wedding this weekend. I'm so excited. Louis is one of the best men, so he's been working on his speech for the past few nights. So yeah, that's like the first of our plans. And then in a couple of weeks time, we are going to Sweden to see Louis's sister and our niece and nephew. So um, obviously like we're just going to their house. It's not necessarily like a holiday, but I did just want to order some like, I don't know, sort of casual spring summer bits because I feel like this is something that I lack in my wardrobe and I feel like every summer I think to myself, oh, I really wish I had a nice dress to wear today. But then I'm always, I'm a really, really cold person. So I usually will only wear a dress when it's like 30 degree heat and it's like we're having a heat wave. When in reality, obviously, like every day is usually quite warm. It would just be nice to have some casual dresses that I could throw on and wear in like spring and summer. Plus, when we fly to Sweden, we don't actually have any um, like hand luggage or like a hold bag or anything like that. We're literally just taking like a normal sort of like cabin bag i don't know whether that's what it would be called but basically just the bag that has to fit underneath your seat that's all we've got and i think we're there for maybe it's about four days so we don't need loads of stuff we should be fine but obviously i just wanted easy things to wear i don't want to be looking like jeans and loads of different tops and something for a night time something in case it's warm something it's in case it's cold i just wanted like maybe it's like a nice dress big cardigan, pair of trainers, and then I'll just wear a different dress every day and that should hopefully work. So, the bits that I got from Sheen, so I've actually done two orders now. I did like a, a panic order literally like two days ago and part of it has already been delivered. But this order that I did a couple of weeks ago, this had a little bit of a mixture of stuff in. So I'll start off with the bits that I got, like the sort of casual bits. So I got this um, cardigan because I want a sort of midi length cardigan that I can wear over midi dresses. So if it is a little bit chilly, I've got a cardigan that I can throw on that looks good with a midi dress. So I wanted it to be sort of that like midi slash midaxi length. Um, I have got a black one but it's a little bit too long and I wanted like a, a sort of beige stone coloured one so I ordered this but this is a little bit creamy this is actually quite thick this is like a proper knit cardigan and I do quite like it the only issue that I had was the pockets so I don't know how well you can see but when you're wearing it the pockets literally just like flap like this so that's obviously like the outside where you put your hand and then that's just like flapping around which I don't really like so that is going back and then I ordered this dress which is another one that I am sending back I feel like with Sheen it's always a little bit hit and miss obviously the prices on there are so good like you have to expect a bit of a mixture i feel like um and out of the orders that i've done on there i feel like i usually get a, like a few nice bits and then there's a couple of bits that i send back that's just like how it is so i ordered this sort of like midi dress again i'll try and pop in some proper pictures of it but i thought this would have just been a cute casual sort of like bodycon type dress that I could just throw a cardigan over I do really like this but I didn't realize it was going to be like a 
sort of like a nylon like stretchy material but unfortunately it, it is very very see-through um so yeah i am going to send that one back this one i actually really really like this is like a shirt dress i'm just being lazy here but yeah it's literally just like a shirt dress it's got a little like tie waist around it and i do really like this i just feel like it wasn't really doing anything for like my figure i am only quite like petite i'm small and i'm quite skinny and there was a little bit too much fabric like where i'd cinched it in at my waist you know when the fabric sort of like bulges over a little bit but other than that that was a really really nice one I did also order literally just a plain black um, midi dress with like a little, I think it's got a little slit up one of the sides. Yeah. Again, this was, this is just, is what it is. It's a plain black midi dress. Um, but the, like the straps on me were a little bit too short. So the whole dress was sort of like riding up. It wasn't quite tight enough on me to sort of like stay in place. So... I am returning it to that one as well. I feel like I'm pretty much returning all of this. There's probably no point in me even showing you, but. Then I also got a couple of pairs of trousers because I wanted some, um, basically just some different trousers that weren't jeans that again, you could wear like spring, summer. So this is one of the pairs. These are a little bit more sort of casual, casual, almost like, well, not joggers but they've got this like stretchy waistband and the sort of this like i don't know stone color i would probably say these definitely do need it need an iron i feel like i might have to iron these and then try them and see what they actually look like because when i put these on they're just so creased that they look a little bit ridiculous but i do really like these just sort of like maybe it's with a little white bodysuit like this i was even thinking like in the airport you could just wear a pair of trainers with them again like a big cardigan that was sort of my vibe so these are a maybe i need to decide between these ones and these ones so these are a little bit of a more maybe it's like creamy beigey color i'd say the other ones that i've just showed you have a little bit more of a gray tone and these are a little bit smarter i like the sort of waistband here this little crossover detail and these just have a zip down the side and these fit me really nicely like around the waist again i feel like just with a bodysuit like this they'd look really nice and these are just wide leg all the way down again i feel like i could do with giving them maybe it's a bit of an iron and then try them but I'm leaning more towards these ones because I feel like you can dress them up or dress them down. You could still wear these with trainers and just a bodysuit and a cardigan. Or you could even put these on with like heels or sandals or anything like that in the summer. Um, and yeah, they do they do actually fit me really nicely. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe these ones are a winner. So I think I'm going to keep them. And then another dress actually that I am keeping... I've got things in like different piles all over the place. This is another shirt dress. I'm loving like shirt dresses or I, I have always loved a nice like midi length dress. I feel like they're what I feel best in. I'm not, I don't like getting my legs out. If I do get my legs out, it's like a full mission to make sure that the like I've tanned in advance and yeah, it's just a whole ordeal getting my legs out. So midi dresses are perfect. So this one is more sort of like sleeveless and it just buttons right down the front this one is actually i don't know if you can see a little bit longer at the back than it is at the front and then it's just got a little tie waist belt thing again obviously you could like swap this out and put your own belt around it but this one fits me really nicely and i like the sort of like navy and white pinstripe i feel like that's just really classic and i could throw on a cardigan over this so i am going to keep that one and then i've got some bikinis out of this order but i'm going to show you the order that's just arrived there's only two things that have arrived in this parcel but i think the other parcel has been shipped i think it said or it might be with the courier 
and there's probably i don't know maybe it's like five or six other dresses but i'll just show you these two that have come now well one is actually a cardigan so this is a cute little midi dress in this really really nice like dusky pink color i feel like i've gone for a lot of um like blues and greens and neutrals so this is a, a little bit out there for me but a really really nice colour this is just a full like floaty midi length again it's got like the buttons down the front I haven't tried this on yet I think I got this in a an extra small or a six I think it is so I'll have to try it um but yeah I do really like that and I'm just thinking like something like this you could wear with sandals but you could also wear with like white trainers and again just throw on like the cardigan and the other thing that came in this order which looks really nice is another cardigan so this is to replace that cardigan that I've just showed you with the flappy pockets this is more like sort of the thing that I was thinking this is actually a little bit thinner as well which I feel like is it's like the perfect thickness for spring summer so this is just sort of like a balloon sleeve midi length um it's sort of like a oatmeal color this is a really really nice color it's not too creamy which i like um and yeah i've just tried this on while my mum was here and she said this was really really lovely so this is probably a keeper i have ordered another very similar one which is coming in the next parcel which should hopefully be here in the next couple of days so i'll compare this one with that one when it comes but yeah i'll hopefully keep one or the other because this is like exactly what i was thinking and obviously that'll just go really nicely over like the other dresses that i've just showed you and then the other bits that i've got from sheen are just a few bikinis so obviously i mentioned earlier in this video about um like my hindus and stuff so that's sort of what i'm doing all of these orders for so i've got loads and loads of bikinis in like my wish list on sheen um but there was like hundreds of pounds worth of stuff in there so i've had to like break it up into different orders i couldn't do i couldn't order it all at once basically so i only ordered three of the bikinis so i've got loads more that I will be ordering over the next few weeks but I'll just show you these ones so this one I really really like I feel like this is really flattering on especially on the top because we don't have the biggest boobies in the world um but yeah this is just it's really really nicely like the underwire is very structured um and I just like the shape of the top and then it's just got this sort of like little pattern on it really really like that and then the bottoms again I'm quite funny with bikini bottoms me and my best friend were having this conversation the other day it's been a long time since I've been on holiday but I feel like the only bikini bottoms that I want now are like high leg so not necessarily high waist but you know where they're like the come up higher on your leg i don't want anything low waisted i just feel like it's so unflattering on me so these bottoms are are quite nice they're just a little bit tight i did get this in a six and the top fits really really nicely but these are just they're all right and part of me was like mm, i'm sure they'll be fine but you know when they sort of like dig in in all the wrong places and they make you look a little bit like frumpy i i, I don't feel my best in them they're sort of like giving me all sorts of lumps and bumps that I don't really want um so yeah I think these are just a little bit too small but if I size up you have to buy the whole like the whole thing sized up and this is actually a three-piece set so obviously then I would have to get the top in an eight and I'm not sure that the top will fit me very nicely in an eight but I loved the little skirt that you get with it so this just matches like the same pattern and this fits me really nicely as well and obviously this is the six so again if i was to get everything in a size up the skirt would probably be a little bit big on me so i've not 100 percent decided what to do with that one i don't know whether to order 
the bigger size and try it or whether to just leave it for now and order some of the other ones that I've got in my basket because I have got some really really nice ones in my basket and I want I do want a lot of white bikinis obviously because um it's my Hindu and then it'll be my honeymoon that I'll wear them on as well um but obviously there's only so many white bikinis that I need I'm not going to keep like 10 white bikinis I'll limit myself so that's a maybe this one again really really nice nothing actually like wrong with it i just don't know whether there's maybe nicer ones that i could order um so these are the bottoms it's not going to be very easy for me to show you this again i'll put all of these on the screen um but these have just got sort of like it's all in packaging but little like diamondy bits that i just thought was nice and then the actual bikini is like ruffled and then the top was really nice because it's got like so it goes obviously on like that and then these bits sort of go like around it's really hard for me to like sort of show you so you've got your normal like strap that goes around your back and then these just sort of like droop underneath a little bit with all of the little like dangly bits you'll be able to see on the picture on the screen but i do really like this i'm just not sure how well like the roughly bits will sort of wear i feel like once this has got like wet a few times i'm, I'm not sure whether it'll just start to look a little bit like disheveled and then this last one i do really like this one i think i'm going to keep this the actual swimsuit is this is like a two-piece set there's loads of um like two-piece and three-piece sets on sheen which i really really like anything with like a matching skirt is just lovely isn't it so this is just sort of a full white um swimsuit and then it's got the really long like halter bit so you can sort of put this around your neck you can then tie it around your waist i'm guessing you can do this in like quite a few different ways this is a little bit more of a creamy color i would say i don't know whether it's like bright white but i don't really mind so much this is like fits nicely it's flattering it's got padding in like the... sorry louis just rang me as i was speaking there but yeah it's got um padding in as well which is really really handy so yeah that's just a nice sort of like staple white swimsuit but then it comes with this little skirt and i just love this so much it's so cute um so this has got i think it is like tiny little love hearts but it's just like the sort of just the perfect size i feel like the fit really nicely the things quite often like drown me a bit too much because i'm so little i'm so petite um things yeah sometimes i just look like a 12 year old trying to dress like an adult um but yeah this just like fits me really nicely so i really really like that over that white swimsuit so i think that one is a keep so that's everything that I've got from Sheen. Only the bits that I've got to show you are from Primark or Primark. I always say Primark. I always have done. Um, and to be honest, I got these bits last weekend. Me and my best friend went. Um, but there wasn't really much there nothing really exciting i tried a few things on and none of them were right so i'm glad i tried them on and didn't just buy them so basically all i ended up getting was like sort of basics and like little staple pieces for the summer or for holidays so i've got some of these little tops i love these i've literally i got i think i just got two of these a black and a white one last year before we went to italy for my sister's wedding just for me to like throw on with a pair of shorts and since then i actually have been wearing these as like literally as bras underneath in the winter i was wearing them underneath jumpers and stuff but they're literally just a little like stretchy black crop top they're sort of like double lined so they've got this i don't know how well you can see that because it's all just black but they've got like an extra lining inside so they are really supportive you don't have to wear a bra with them um so i got uh, another black one and another white one of those 
I also got a grey one and this really nice sort of sage mint green sort of colour um, because I actually got the shorts in this colour last year when we went to Italy. I'm not sure where they are but they'll be somewhere so I've got like the little matching top anyway and then I did also just get a pair of the shorts in black because I just thought these are ideal obviously you can mix and match you can wear the shorts with any colour top or I can wear black and black I can wear them as pyjamas I could like go around the pool on holiday in them or anything these are just like essentials in your wardrobe and then I also got just this little bikini set I've seen uh, not a bikini set a uh, like underwear set I feel like these are just sort of like the famous pre-mark um, underwear sets but I've never had one so I just got this black one so it's literally just I've been wearing well like I said I've been wearing those um, tops as bras quite a lot of the time but I'm just going for comfort these days I can't cope with like really padded bras or anything so I just got this little black one with the thong bottoms I haven't actually tried this on I hope this fits me but yeah that should be fine and then I got I'll show you this beach bag first so this was literally like nine pound for this beach bag and I just really really liked this I thought this is like the perfect little summery beachy bag um and I really like the fact that it's got a zip because when you're on the beach and stuff I just feel like I always feel that bit more secure when my bag has got a zip so that was a pro and then I just got some of the staple um Primark flip flops so these are like yeah a pound I got these in brown this time because I just feel like these will go with everything instead of the white I mean obviously they are what they are they're a cheap pair of flip flops but I feel like sometimes the white just looks a bit cheaper um so I just decided to go with the brown and then I got this um shirt which I actually forgot that I'd got <laughs> Um, but this is just like the perfect sort of little linen-y type throw-on slouchy medium length shirt that I just feel like is going to be perfect for throwing over bikinis and then we did actually me and Louie nipped into Primark again today so I got all of that stuff last weekend but me and Louie nipped in today and again there wasn't loads. I tried a few things on and nothing nothing blew me away. I wasn't that fussed on any of it. So I just got this one swimsuit just because I'm, I'm going for a lot of white obviously because this is like I'm in my wedding era. I'm in my bridal year. Um, but obviously I don't want everything in white and I feel like white can sometimes be a bit funny when you've got like sun cream on and when you're in and out of the pool it sometimes just goes a bit yellow. So... Yeah, I'm feeling like my white bikinis are probably going to be maybe just for like certain occasions. But then the rest of the time, I don't need to be in white. So I've got this sort of like dark navy blue full swimsuit. I just really liked this like waist belt. It's sort of got a tortoise shell, um, like a little thing on the belt. And I did actually get this in an eight. I tried this on in a six and it was it was tight. So I haven't tried the eight on. I just picked the eight up, hoping that this one will fit. Again, it's got um, padding in like the boob bit. I think, yeah, you can take the padding out, but padding is great for me. Um, and yeah, I just thought this would be like really nice, really classic with like that white shirt thrown over and just with my flip flops around the pool love this so yeah I think that is literally everything oh the other thing that I was going to say as well so earlier on in this video I showed you the um fake tans that I'd ordered so I'd ordered these two um Saint Tropez tans because I need a tan for my wedding day basically and um I explained all of this earlier in the video but yeah these ones are like non-transfer tan so I haven't tried this one yet the um body looks see the looks body serum 
um i still need to try that one but i tried this one this weekend so obviously i feel like a tan is a very like personal thing everyone likes different things in a tan i normally go for a tan that basically is the cheapest if i'm just using it like every weekend or just for nights out or whatever i go for a cheap tan and whatever will make me the darkest but for my wedding day obviously i want it to be more natural and i'm happy to like try different tans and i really want my skin to obviously look like glowy and just look healthy and natural rather than just being like as dark as possible so i've actually done um two layers of this tan so i'll just take that off so you can actually sort of see so sorry if you can sort of like see my bra a little bit but i did a layer of this on thursday night and i then washed it off on friday morning i did then actually do a layer of like gradual tan moisturizer um and left that on all day friday but then i went in the shower again friday night and like washed that off washed my hair and everything and i was quite pale not dark enough for me personally i'm very pale naturally so i need i need a tan to like actually give me a tan i don't want to just have a very subtle glow i want to look tanned but also look natural i mean who doesn't but yes i actually ended up doing another layer of this friday night which was last night and i've then washed it off this morning so this is sort of like what i'm left with i don't know how well you can see that i am sort of facing a window um but i feel like it looks really natural i've just asked my mum. she said i don't look pale i definitely look tanned but it looks really really natural i'm doing a little bit of an experiment that's why i've put this white bodysuit on i don't normally wear white i think because i'm so used to tanning white and fake tan usually don't go together but i've decided to put this white bodysuit on today basically so that i can experiment at the end of the day when i take this off i'm going to see if i've got any like orange marks under my arms or anywhere and i feel like that'll give me a good indication obviously when i'm wearing my white wedding dress but yeah this is definitely a contender i do still need to try this one so i'll do this in the next couple of weeks and compare the two but i am happy with the way this looks i feel like it's so it's very very different to the saint moritz tan i normally use you can tell that this is better quality more expensive my skin feels like fresh and moisturized it doesn't smell it doesn't transfer whereas when i do my saint moritz tan don't get me wrong like it's fine it looks fine and everything but it definitely dries my skin out and i didn't realize how dry it was until i tried this so this is a really really lovely tan but yeah for me personally i definitely need at least two layers to actually give me the level of tan that i want but yeah oh my god i've just talked for about half an hour straight but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little haul section and now need to quickly get myself sorted because there was just around me and um inviting me to the pub so i'm going to sit in the sunshine in the pub and then we're going to my dad's for tea tonight so yes i will see you all very soon mm -hmm.